What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I am here today to give you guys the truth about being blacklisted on YouTube. You know, some people might be wondering, is that even like a real thing? And uh, the answer is kind of, yeah, yeah, it is. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience of being blacklisted on YouTube. I'm probably going to go on a couple rants about why YouTube does these things, how you can avoid it, and what I did, and why I do not regret what I've done. So I've been doing content creation for many years at this point, and I've always been a fan of kind of the more laissez-faire approach to online policing, if you want to call it that. Obviously the internet is just a giant web of devices that are connected to it, but when it comes to websites, obviously they're run by businesses, which then have rules. Completely understandable, I get it. However, I'm also a very big fan of the capitalistic style of social media platforms like YouTube and TikTok, which is basically, if people like seeing your content, they'll watch your content and you'll get views. And if people don't like your content and they don't wanna watch your content, then you won't get views. Very, very simple. However, the social media companies do not like that. They want you to watch what they want you to watch. For example, if you make a new YouTube account and they have no data on you, they'll suggest you videos that they want you to watch. Not just any videos, like you'll never catch someone like me on your just suggested, on a brand new account, you'll never find me. When I first started making TikTok videos under my official King Judah account, um, it was just very normal TikTok creator stuff. Just very like, oh, here's something funny and I'll reenact it or, you know, I'll just do trends, whatever. And then I started posting Omega videos. And when I started posting Omega videos, I absolutely blew up like crazy because no one else was posting that stuff on TikTok. I like rebirthed Omega content through TikTok and uh, it was great. Eventually I was reaching like hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok and then it happened. My first video got taken down. TikTok took down one of my Omega videos. And that's when it began because once one video got taken down, another video got taken down and then another one. And then I wasn't allowed to post for a week. And then once I was able to post, they wouldn't let me upload that video at all because it got restricted right away before it even went public. And then it went more and more and more. And now if you go onto my official King Judah TikTok, most of my Omega videos are gone. So my TikTok started to go down because I got kicked out of the creator fund and my videos kept getting taken down. And at this point, I wasn't allowed to basically post any content that I wanted to post. But luckily, at the same time, my YouTube started blowing up with the same Omega content. I really felt like I dodged a bullet on that one because TikTok basically just had a giant grudge on me just because I'd broken so many rules. I got kicked out of the creator fund so I wasn't making any more money. Most of you guys probably didn't notice because you just watched the most recent video that would come out. But I've been struggling for probably six months now fighting to save old videos that I've posted. Like videos will be up for like a year and a half, no problem, right? Gaining views, gaining subscribers, people are loving it, right? positive comments, lots of likes, it's great. And then after a year and a half, then it gets taken down. And so I'm fighting those while at the same time creating new content, but when I upload the new content, those two are just not being allowed to be uploaded. And it's not even a monetization issue because I've said this multiple times, a lot of my Omega videos are not monetized and I'm okay with that because you know what I had fun filming it and I want you guys to enjoy it and you know there's this kingdom that I want to provide content for but YouTube just won't let me upload it at all let alone demonetize they won't let me upload it at all so if you go back in my videos you might realize oh my gosh some of my favorite King Judah videos aren't even there anymore and now on top of all of that, YouTube won't send out notifications for my content. They won't push my videos into the algorithm like they used to. And because I've been blacklisted from the public side of YouTube, basically all of my views, all of my engagement on YouTube is from people who are actively trying to watch my thing. So like obviously if you go onto my channel and click on my videos, you can watch it, right? But anyone who is not already in my Discord or follow me on Instagram and like clicks the links and stuff, no one sees my stuff anymore. It's like YouTube took me and just pushed me to the side and put everyone else in front. Me and like a lot of other kind of maybe more edgy YouTubers are all behind 
the front lines of the YouTube content creation that are all family friendly. Yay! You know, everyone's nice. Yeah. What's up, guys? Today, I'm putting 100 blind kids in a room. First person to get out gets $10,000, but unfortunately, there's a twist. There are no doors in the room, and they are stuck there forever. <laughs> anyway, so this has happened to me on two different platforms at this point that I have been successful on. So people have enjoyed my content. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, 700,000 followers on TikTok. People enjoy my things. People enjoy my content, right? It's the content platforms that have a problem with me. If you don't wanna watch my videos, if someone does not like the type of content I make, then don't watch it. Then don't watch it. That's fine, that's up to you. I don't, actually, I don't want you to watch my content if you don't like it. I'm not trying to make you watch my content. If you absolutely despise my humor, then don't watch it. I don't want you to watch it, right? But other people do. So let the other people that enjoy my content to watch it. Allow, if you like it, you should be able to buy it. That rant went a little bit longer than I planned, but let's go over some of the things that I've learned about being blacklisted on social platforms such as YouTube or TikTok. One of the most obvious way to get blacklisted is to get a lot of hate and to get reported a lot, right? So if you make any sort of offensive content that might offend people in any way, Anyway, whether you say, oh, they're being soft or not, it does not matter, okay? If people get mad, they're gonna get mad, right? So if you're getting reported a lot because you're like an edgy YouTuber or you make offensive jokes, YouTube doesn't want to push that out because new YouTube users, if they find that, it might turn them away from the platform, which is why YouTube will blacklist you. And by the way, when I say blacklisting in this video, shadow banning is another way of putting it. The second thing is a little bit more specific. If YouTube or TikTok does not like a particular type of content, they will focus it and they will suppress it, right? So for example, on TikTok, if the logo of Omegle was on the screen, I would get significantly less views. So if you go back on my some of my Omegle videos on TikTok, you'll see that I blurred the logo in the video and they would get more views. Along with, I would not use the hashtag Omegle. I would not use any Omegle tags. If anything, I would not even mention it in the caption. I wouldn't even want to write Omegle. Maybe I would use a zero instead of an O, or I would just say enjoy some funny moments with strangers, right? Just kind of avoiding the word Omegle. And people would love the content, but I would not be able to show the Omegle logo. Isn't that crazy? Like, I literally could not show the logo of the website I was on because TikTok was targeting that type of content. And the third way you kind of get blacklisted and just put in the trash bin um, on YouTube or TikTok is because of the snowball effect, right? If you get one video taken down on YouTube, you are more likely to get another video taken down significantly. You are significantly more likely to get two videos taken down than just one. That's why TikTok really quickly swept under my feet and took down tons of videos, is once they flagged one, they could use that as evidence of like, oh hey, we took this one down because it's harassment. And if that video is harassment, then that means these videos are also considered harassment. And then there goes six of my videos that I worked hard on. Same goes for YouTube when it comes to demonetization or taking down videos, right? So if they go on one of my videos and they can't monetize it, they're like, oh, the, the humor is too crude. You know, we can't monetize that video. They'll use that reasoning and be like, oh, wait, that means these videos are also not monetizable. Probably like seven to 10 videos all got demonetized in, within a week. If you take that same principle and put it into videos that get taken down, recently I uploaded a video of Omega trolling and it got taken down. Like I was not allowed to upload it. The next day, one of my old videos, literally from a year and a half ago, that video also gets taken down. I'm like, what are the chances that two videos get taken down entirely from YouTube within the same basically 24 hours? So at this point, there's only one thing I can do. And that's to say thank you. Guys, I, I, everyone that watches my videos, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you guys find them funny. I hope that it brings joy to your life. I hope you find it amusing. Maybe you learn something. I don't know. Anyway, I want you guys to know that I appreciate you all. The low-key viewers who kind of just watch me when, when they can. Maybe I show up in the recommended. I appreciate you guys. And I also appreciate all the hardcore viewers that are a part of my Discord that follow me on Instagram. So then they make sure that they always see every upload. I appreciate you guys a lot. It's definitely not easy, man. I, I can't even afford a camera stand. My camera right now is sitting on top of a mug. Make sure you guys have notifications on as well. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace.